Let's make Ramadan 2023, inshallah, the best Ramadan yet by doing five of these things and avoiding five of these other things. Bismillah, let's go. Number one, aim to inshallah finish the whole Quran during the month of Ramadan, which ends up being about one juz every single day. Depending on how much the Quran you know, it may take more time for other people to finish one juz in one day than others. So I would say, you know, put maybe like an hour to two hours aside, and that should be sufficient for you to completing one juz every single day. Again, if you need a bit more time, that's fine, okay? But aim inshallah to finish a whole Quran in the month of Ramadan. Number two, pray tahajjud. Tahajjud essentially starts later into the night when the day has changed, so after midnight, and ends before Fajr starts. So this might be starting at 12 a.m. And let's say Fajr starts at 5 a.m. During that five hour window between 12 and 5 a.m., you can pray tahajjud. And during tahajjud, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to the lowest level of the seven heavens and He can hear you with every concern or thing that you want to ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is one of the most special time to do so. Number three, aiming to pray, especially as a man, every single prayer in the masjid, to the best of your ability. If you are working nine to five or whatnot, it might not be easy for you, but inshallah, make the intention to pray every single prayer during the month of Ramadan in jama'ah at least, even if you're going to pray it at home, pray together as a jama'ah with your family, inshallah, or better yet, go to the masjid, which is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number four, aiming to pray full tarawih every single day in the masjid, inshallah. Do not be skipping your tarawihs, brothers and sisters. I know it's a sunnah prayer. It is a prayer that is only available during the month of Ramadan, so take benefit of it. And inshallah, number five, during the last 10 days of Ramadan, sit in itikaf if you can, which is basically going to the masjid as a man or a woman if you have privacy in the masjid then you can do it at the masjid if not you can do it at home but sit in there sit in the masjid inshallah repent to allah remember allah pray all your prayers with jama recite the quran read some hadith and whatnot and fully dedicate the last 10 days of ramadan in the kaf in worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now here are five things that you should not be doing during the month of ramadan number one Watching TV shows, scrolling on social media, playing video games and movies and all of these garbage entertainment. Not please, please. During the month of Ramadan, at least put it aside. First of all, you never know what haram thing might pop up in these media. You know, like you might be watching something and then suddenly there is like a naked person or whatnot. Don't want to be, you know, wasting your time watching media and accidentally see something that you shouldn't be seeing or even music and stuff like that that is in movies you hear it and it's a sin right so you do want to stay away from those things generally you don't even want to do watch those things especially in today's time number two my favorite one sleeping all day during the month of ramadan many times people stay up all night just chilling and then they you know eat suhoor they sleep and they sleep all this very common in the youth especially they you know will have time off from school whatever and they'll just sleep throughout their entire fast Fasting does not mean that you just stay hungry and sleep throughout the whole day. It's supposed to be, one, a reminder that during the month of Ramadan, we are not eating food. And this reminds us, inshallah, that other people around the world are not having sufficient food to eat. And inshallah, this, th and inshallah, this will also remind us on top of that to be grateful for having food every single day to eat. And number two, we should not be sleeping during the month of Ramadan because this is not a month to just sleep all day. It's a time of worshiping, right? So keep that in mind, inshallah. The last one, uh, the, the third one is going to be not waking up for suhoor. And this is something that I never took seriously, but inshallah, I will, which is going to be wake up for suhoor. A lot of time people who especially have a nine to five job or they have to get up early in the morning for work, they'll skip suhoor. But suhoor does not mean that you need to get up and have a whole meal. If you know that you are gonna get up early in the morning because you have work in the morning and you don't want to eat a lot then just get up honestly you can just have like a date and drink a little bit of water and that's considered suhoor do not skip suhoor because number one it will give you energy throughout the fast and number two it's a sunnah during the pra during the month of ramadan to wake up for suhoor and eat something number four not making a genuine effort to inshallah get better during the month of ramadan a lot of times people will just you know uh get up and be like uh yeah it's just another day just gonna fast gonna get my day going whatever it may be but they're not doing anything 
that will inshallah make them a better person once Ramadan finishes. And this can include working on your weaknesses, right? Working on addictions or issues that, you know, you know you shouldn't be doing sins that you should not be doing in private anyways. The Ramadan is one of the best time to work in that because of the fact that shaitan is locked during the month of Ramadan. Last but not least, not taking the time during the month of Ramadan to reflect on what you want to do inshallah after Ramadan finishes. As we all know, as I mentioned even before, Shaitan is locked during the month of Ramadan. And kind of similar to New Year's resolution where especially the Kuffars will have like, you know, new goals and this and that. As Muslims, we do not believe in that. However, during the month of Ramadan, you can kind of implement that into your life and think, okay, during the month of Ramadan, since Shaitan is closed, you know, I can hopefully inshallah, think more clearly and make better decisions in my life. What is it that I want to work on? Because during the month of Ramadan, great month to repent and become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, make life goals, things that you want to improve on and get better at inshallah after Ramadan finishes. Share this video to inshallah also get sadaqah jariya. You never know who this video may inspire. Inshallah also for the YouTube algorithm so that more people inshallah see this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you have any com comments or whatever, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm currently dropping a new video every single week on Juma on Fridays. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, Story of Muhammad. And inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.